reported by Rare.us. Parenting this baby is not what she expected, so she is suing again. Jennifer Cramblin is suing a fertility clinic again because of the pain, suffering, and emotional distress attached to raising a non-white baby. A few months into her artificially inseminated pregnancy, Jennifer Cramblett discovered the sperm was donated by a black male instead of the blonde-haired, blue-eyed white man she and her same-sex partner requested. When she gave birth to a beautiful, obviously mixed-race baby in August of 2012, Cramblett sued for wrongful birth and breach of warranty. In September 2015, the judge threw the case out because wrongful birth cases are meant to address when children are born with congenital or hereditary disorders and not cases of babies born being a mixed race. The new suit filed Friday in federal court argues the fertility clinic should pay over $150,000 in damages for their negligence. It claims since a doctor misidentified a donor number and a handwritten note caused the mix-up, the clinic should pay Cramblet for the struggles of raising a mixed-race child. Jennifer was crying, confused, and upset all of the thought, care, and planning that she and Amanda had undertaken to control their baby's parentage had been rendered meaningless. In an instant, Jennifer's excitement and anticipation of her pregnancy was replaced with anger, disappointment, and fear, the original suit claimed. Now that her daughter is three years old, Cramblet believes damages for mothering a mixed-race baby include the need to move out of intolerant Uniontown, Ohio, the stress of racially insensitive family members, and the need for personal counseling for herself and the whole family given she was raised around stereotypical attitudes towards black people, the Chicago Tribune reports. Another example of damages listed in the original suit is hair care. For a, quote, decent haircut, Cramblet drives to a black neighborhood, which she believes is more stressful than what most mothers experience, and it makes her feel uncomfortable. The fertility clinic responded to the original mistake by sending her an apology note and a refund. Cramblet claims she loves her daughter, right? please. But the clinic needs to be held accountable. She is determined to see that no other family suffers the struggle of parenting an unexpected non-white baby. Y'all, if that ain't a load of BS, I don't know what is. And let me just end it like this. So we're literally saying right now that a lesbian couple have to leave their town because their town is intolerant of their mixed race baby. I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all sit with that. And until next time, guys, I'm Jen Nicole from naturallymoi.com.